things I wish I knew in my 20s before going to school to become a radiologic technologist and going to school for radiologic technology. First thing is why I would have specialized sooner and added more specialties a lot faster. Number one, if you specialize sooner, you are gonna increase your chances for making more money. And I don't know about you, but when I'm younger, I wanna make as much money as I can. So while I'm older, I'm not having to work that hard. <laughs> but if you specialize sooner, that allows you to increase your experience, which increases the variety that you're gonna see within the radiology field and medical imaging field. And it depends on your specialty. For me, I went straight from radiology school right into CT. So I would say I did a good job specializing initially right off the bat. I would definitely encourage you, if you feel like you need to get some experience as a radiology technologist first, don't let that stop you from moving on and specializing. I was still doing x-rays while I was doing CT. Now I went straight from x-ray school, graduated, had a CT job waiting on me second shift. The things you do second shift are totally different from what you do in first shift. Now, I also did more ER patients, so I saw a lot more trauma. I saw things that I wouldn't normally see on first or second, or first or third shift. I saw those on second shift. The benefit to me was I got that trauma experience, right? That I would not have probably gotten if I would have taken a first shift job the way you get it, because you got car accidents happening when people get off of work. So I saw all of those things. I got experience in trauma. I got experience in a lot of things, second shift, let's just say that. And I still did x-rays on the weekends. And that allowed me to get comfortable and confident in my x-ray skills outside of being a student. But it didn't stop me from getting my specialization. And then from CT, I went on to MRI. Now I wish after 22 years that I had continued to go on, but I did specialize in different ways by adding to my profession. I'll talk about those later, but my main focus is when you're a student in radiologic technology school, I would encourage you, even if you want to get more experience, people out there say, oh, I think you should do x-ray for about two years. Nothing wrong with that, but you don't have to. And you can do it at the same time as getting your specialty, you guys. Don't think you have to do one or the other. You can do both at the same time. And I'm telling you, I did it and many other people are doing it and still doing x-ray and getting one or two more certifications. And don't stop there at one or two. If you can add to it, add to it. Because the point is when you're not specializing, you are leaving money on the table. I don't care how you swing it, how you say it. Not, and I'm not saying you're not happy if you don't specialize. My husband is very happy doing x-ray work in the OR. Totally content. He's now moved on to MRI and does both still. But I would tell you, he was perfectly content in x-ray. Perfectly content. But when you have opportunities, jump on those opportunities because they don't always come around in, in a way that might be advantageous for you. So if you get an opportunity, go for it. Doesn't mean you have to let go what you love, which is x-ray or whatever it is that you're doing, CT, MR, whatever. Someone gives you an opportunity to, say, become a radiologist assistant, and a radiologist group approaches you and says, we love the way you work with us in the OR or in fluoro. We'd love to be your sponsor to be able to go to school for another couple of years and get your master's as a radiologist assistant. You never saw yourself being a radiologist assistant. You really weren't interested in it, didn't know a lot about it. But this opportunity is like, a one in a million shot that a group of radiologists are gonna to come to you and say, we want you to go to school for that. We'll even pay for you. We'll, we'll give you a scholarship and then we'll offer you a job when you come out. Who would not at least try it? And let me know in the comments. Would you at least try that, even if that was never on your agenda? So I wanna encourage you all to consider adding certifications and training to your credentials in 2025. If this is not something that you thought about, you're not interested in leaving, I still challenge you. Increase your certifications. Add those letters behind your name and challenge yourself, especially if you have 10 or more years left to work in this field. Go for it. Let me know if you guys like this. And if you like more or want to hear more, please comment below and be sure to subscribe. And I have a podcast, a couple of Brad Text podcasts. Check it out. Let me know what you think.